you like Jill. the hospital more than the rest of the game? Hey, I found the hospital to be like the worst part of the game. God, Interesting. It. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, Super Cop. I got you. I think one of the worst parts in the game is the zombie holdout at the hospital. That one feels like very tacked on and sort of like padding. Fight it, Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. I don't need Brad's key card anymore. <laughs> Have our Carlos save. And yeah, the defense part lasts a bit too long. Tyrell, it's just like really? now. Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. I want to go out there. I want to go out there, you know, where how we got here. Oh, that's locked off because of the cave thing. Feel happy with no ink save for RE3? I mean, I wish one of the difficulties had it. You know, I understand why normal and... The base difficulties don't have ink ribbon saves, but I kind of like being... I don't know. It feels like Resident Evil. Motherfucker. I don't got time for this! Why are you screaming at him? You gotta scream at him, dude. I did not counter? I guess not. Liquor. Fucking liquor. When he does a backdash, that's the tell. That was very loud. When he does the backdash, that's the tell. If he if he if he backdashes, go for punch. Yeah, this part became increasingly more difficult because there's liquors here now. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Inferno? So you're telling me there's another difficulty beyond this? You see, now that, that starts to feel like padding to me, right? They start to do this thing where... We don't have a lot of scenarios and ways to play the game differently. So we're just gonna lock the difficulties behind, you have to beat the game now. Right, and you just have to beat the game to get the difficulties unlocked. You don't, ha you don't get to have that be your first experience. You have to beat them again, and beat them again, and beat them again. Unlike RE2, they give you the hardest difficulty right at the start. You wanna play it as hard as possible? Go ahead. Go ahead. But now, since they don't have as much content in the game, they have to pad it out. You're gonna have to beat our game three times to get the hard difficulty, you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Fallen Dark. I'm sorry, dude. I'm timing you out for the next month. I'm just... <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Can't even play Resident Evil 3 without getting spoiled on FF7 shit. Insane, chat. I, that's what I was always saying, like, my efforts are going to be in vain, right? No matter how hard I try, all these efforts are going to be in vain. Just, like, time them out to the point of which I'd, I would have played FF7. Like, May. Right? As long as it's just, like, May would be good. I did not counter that. Okay. Kill him in a, a healthy amount of bullets there. Carlos has a counter, it's a punch, yeah. Nice. That would have taken so much more uh, ammo from the other gun. It would have been insane. I don't got time for this! Just a liquor, okay. I think I got a crit in the head, right? See, here's why this bugs me. This icon is here through the wall, and it's like teasing you the whole time. So you're constantly like running around trying to find a way to get to it, and there's just no way to get to it, right? There's just no way to get to it. So, you get, you end up looking with Carlos the whole time, how do I get to this box, how do I get to this box? You can't get to it. You have to wait till you're Jill, and even when you're Jill, it's a weird spot that you kind of have to get to. Yeah, I don't know. Very weird. Oh, I know you get it as Jill. You get it way later, but the problem is, is that the icon pops up right here through the wall, so you're just like immediately like, Oh! I can- okay, I gotta find a way to get to that. With Carlos, because it's obviously like, Look at that shit! Why can I see that? So I spent so much time looking around this fucking thing, trying to find out how I get to it. The tape player. Got some ammo over here. No. But goddamn, chat that nemesis portion with the town. Doctor Bard, Super are you good. in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? This is sci-fi bullshit. What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? We got a lot of fucking copy in here. You don't want to move. Okay. 
secret. Wow. Okay, I was about to move. If they don't, if I don't get a kill by that point. I'm moving. You bitch. Jesus Christ, that actually made me jump. Actually made me jump. I forgot she moves. What? The lady that refused to die. I bet you she's not dead. The lady that refused to die. and you're still alive. About to back off. Can't let them stand up or they do 180s and just get you. God, it's Karen the zombie. Uh, shortcut? Cheap, cheap scare. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Was it a hunter that did that? going a lot faster. Yes, it is. When you know where to go. It's gonna go a lot faster. When you know, like, what bullshit you gotta put up with. It's gonna go a lot faster. I don't think you see any of them running around just yet. Sanjai, I swear to God. Don't you do that, dude. Don't you do that. You go, you go buy something nice for yourself, I swear to god. Wait, there's some more shit in this room. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Hard crash to desktop. Hmm. Right as I was about to save, too. Ugh. Right as I was about to save, man. Come on. Uh, okay. Because there's a shit ton of save points for a reason. Yeah, we'll see if it auto-saved. I mean, I highly doubt it did. But the problem is I just cleaned out that whole room of like eight zombies. And it went relatively well. I hit most of my shots. I, uh, it went good, right? Hmm. Oh, that hurts. That shit hurts. That shit really hurts, Resident Evil 3. It didn't, uh, it didn't just hard crash, it, it uh, completely crashed to desktop. And I lost all my progress in this place. All of it. Including my liquor fight, that went very well. 
That was bad. Yeah, that was like half the hospital done. Didn't work. Oh my god. Oh my god, Shadow Yomi. So you can buy Liquor Chan some flowers. Thanks, man. Jesus. I don't have time for this! What he said. Thank you, Shadow Yomi. Holy shit, dude. waste. You motherfucker did a 180 from the ground! I don't believe that shit. Add it up to here with you fucking zombies. Did a complete spin from the ground. Aaron, eat my ass. Oh, God. Yeah, enjoy that. What? Bad box place. Unfucking believable. I need all that other shit. Okay. Quick before it crashes, right? Is it just that one Jill thing in here? Huh. Okay. Oh, the safe's code. We didn't get that before, and then it was opened up. That's right. That actually, we didn't get that. Um...
Maybe there's some documentation over here? On it? I don't know. They are ammo. Just missed that. Yeah, we didn't actually get the safe last time. I couldn't find out how to open it. I thought he was talking about the monsters. Yeah, when he came across that area before, I thought he was talking about the monsters. How many piss liquors are in here? Oh my god, the instant jumping animation? go to the staff room at all right now. I mean, it's got ammo, but we can come back for that. We've done that several times, just Vs. This game takes a hard nosedive in the final act. Yeah, this was the part where the game was grating on me. This, the, the hospital was the grating point for me. No, I didn't like the hospital part, my first playthrough. Uh, I thought it was kind of a slog. Aggressive. Please keep coming this way. Make my life easy. I wonder if I can trigger parries from that far. Do the frames drop for like a, a, a second chat? Like a half second? Yo, goddamn King Dozer. 30 bucks, dude. Holy shit. Didn't even leave a message either. Thanks very much, man. My name is Maybe as well. Thank you for the 400 bits. It like essentially stops for like a half second and then just continues, right? Guessing Nightmare hasn't changed my opinion of the game. No, I still think it's a 7 out of 10, but I think Nightmare is more fun. I think it definitely is more fun. If, if anything, uh, my revisit of the areas makes me realize how limited Nemesis is. Yo, goddamn, and King Zo Dozer again. Thank you for the five gift subs, dude. 
Intimidate, thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. More stuff popping in here later, just like randomly. Disappointed. Uh, I wanted it. I definitely wanted it to be better. Like it, it's still a seven out of ten in my opinion. It's 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 still a good game. It's a seven out of ten, but it's just it doesn't reach the same levels that I was hoping it was going to. Like Nemesis to me is the biggest letdown. He's so lame. Uh. Hmm, I really wonder where the hell this safe code is. It looks like it would be in here on the wall or something like that. Frostbite Slash and I'm Tiger Senpai, Venga Boy, thank you guys very much. Love and gotten the key card, I don't know where the hell it is. Yeah, Nemesis has been essentially reduced to cinematic action. He's- there's- Nemesis has more, like, spontaneity and, um, surprise factor in the, in, like, the original RE3, I feel. Yo, Griff Nuts, thanks for the tier three, dude. Sweet Jesus. Thanks, man. In 75 months. And Dark Penitence, thank you, dude. Corrupted Swarm. Damn, everyone's got Prime subs? What the hell's going on? Appreciate it. Like I said, I still think it's a good game. I still think it is good. Uh-oh. What the hell's that? I do like that, how the, the light was on. I highlight that item. I think that's cute. Uh, well, I can't help this. I'm curious where it actually is. Chat spoiled it. So... I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna keep looking for where that thing actually is. I don't want to spend too much time in the hospital looking for it, to be honest. I spent too much time here already on yesterday's playthrough. Um, so nurse's station and sick room didn't really have anything else for me to get. And I can't get into the linen room right now. I guess I have to jump down? Actually, I think I do have to jump down. Yeah, you do. And now when you go out back up, the hunters start showing up. That's right. Need the ID card from the operation room to get the combination. Okay, so it's a bit later. So once the key's gotten, it triggers the hunters. I'm fairly sure. Is that guy alive? He's probably dead now, I guarantee you. Yep, that was it. Oh, I'm almost out of handgun ammo.
Uh, is it back down? Fuck. Is it lab reception that this opens up? No. It's in... Not the operating room. It's in the nurse's office. Yeah, the nurse's station. Electronically locked door, locked door. Oh! Fuck me, dude! Scared the holy shit out of me! Wow. Nice Resident Evil 3. And a convenient... Alright. Fucking, that scared the shit. That is not in... That is not in hardcore. I was just talking about how it triggers the hunters, but I didn't know it was gonna be there. Jesus. That thing scared the fuck out of me. There needs to be more... Ah, from the back! And the hunters are one-hit kill? Look at this big cinematic death. Um, the hunters are one-hit kill? Fuck, they're scary. Wonder if pistol would actually work a little bit better against them. Ow, dude, fuck you. Okay, fuck you. Damn, that's a. Uh... Bitch is dead. I'm I'm almost dead though. Ooh, man, that, that shit threw some adrenaline into me. Holy hell. The pistol seems good at exposing the weak point though. He got me from the back, motherfucker. This is fun. This is this is I'm enjoying this right now. Awkwardly smooth. I mean, he's like 50 rounds, but... Went awkwardly smooth. Let me get to my damn save point, you shithead! Fuck! Yeah, I think being hit from the back is a one-hit kill. It's the equivalent of having your head chopped off in the old game. Like the same thing. Wolf Howl Games, thank you so much, man. I want to say hi, currently in lockdown in the UK, and your VODs are destroying my boredom. Shine on, congrats on the pregnancy. Thank you, dude. Uh, that's why uh, the Resident Evil, uh, our first run of Resident Evil 3, part one, is going to go up tomorrow morning, Chad. I'm going to prep that before I go to sleep. So, yeah. Make sure you guys get all that shit. If you want to see it. Yeah, I think the left claw attacks are maybe when you're turned around? I don't know. Oh, it just depends on the attack? Okay. Oh, 
don't know what I just picked up. How's it going? Shake my head. SMH. So, wait a minute. I never explored this. No? I don't see anything weird. Oh, good. Oh, from behind, you fucking asshole. Mm, I should have gotten that. Yeah. Oh, really? Fair enough. I actually prefer that. Oh my god, frickin' Brian. Holy shit, dude. Holy... Okay. Holy shit, dude. I've watched your video since the KI boss rage. Your Doom Eternal playthrough was truly impressive. What the fuck? Are you guys coordinated? Is that shit coordinated, chat? My god! Uh, I've watched your video since KI boss rage. Your Doom Eternal playthrough was truly impressive. I just beat it in ultra violence and I think it's a bit much for me. You made that shit look easy. I can't wait for FF7 shine on. My god, Brian. What the fuck? Thank you for watching that. That was a fun game. Um, but yeah, Ultra Violence is... In comparison to Ultra Violence, even the devs said that it's a bit tougher. Like, Ultra Violence on Doom Eternal is a bit more intense than on the previous one. Yo, definitely Chuckle Ducks. What the hell? I love the streams. Fun fact, the colored webcam went public in 1996. Well, the USB flash drive was created in 98, but didn't go public until the 2000s. Uh... So we're saying that... We're saying that, uh... Umbrella Tech was real? We're saying that weird Umbrella Tech was real? Hmm... Hmm... Is that the case? Uh, they were limited by the technology of their own time. It's very true. Um, yeah, we were talking about this last night, how like, we're in 1998 and I'm seeing USB drives and webcams and shit like that. We're like, I don't know, dude. Like, what the hell are we talking about? And I guess like they were, they were just not commonly distributed. Frickin' Brian, the one Masa, Right, I guess they did exist, but they just weren't known about. So, Umbrella having them, I guess, technically does make sense. But do I think Capcom looked into it and looked into cutting-edge technology in 1998? No. No, I don't, um... I don't think so. I think they just threw them in there, right? Oh, that's right, I didn't go into the staff room, so I didn't get this ammo. I'm gonna have to make it- I'm gonna see if I can make it out of here fast enough to not have to deal with this shit. Thank you so much, by the way. Definitely Chuckle Ducks and Frickin' Brian and the subs from Masa and Brian. Goddamn, guys. Holy hell. Holy hell. Or a rail gun, you know? But, it, you know, it's sci-fi bullshit. Right, I shouldn't- that's not a- it was just funny. It was like, why isn't there floppy disks and stuff? There's floppy disks in the old Resident Evil games. There's like, MO disks. That's what- they're literally floppy disks. I have three flash grenades now? Fuck me. Not opening that one. Fast. Fast. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it looks so funny. It looks so funny. Wait, but this doesn't even... Come on, game.
Full body damage. Oh my god, that's not cool. How'd I leave you guys in here? Oh, fucking yeah, fuck that thing up, Carlos. Go into the records room and heal. I'm gonna leave that guy in there for the rest of time. Maybe that seems like a great idea. That seems like a great idea. I like that idea. Uh, Bello Timo, what's going on? Oh, are you stacking shit? Did you do the- did you do the math? Damn, I just realized. I could have stunned that zombie and then just ran out there. Right? Huh. Disarmed Remo, thank you, dude. I could have just... ...stunned him, and then walked outside. Hmm. Fuck. Anyway. Beggars can't be choosers right now. I'm just happy that he's in there, and I'm never going in there again. Right? Right? Um... I thought he would go through the door. Akiba, thanks for the prime. I already took care of this. Yeah, this place is uh, fucking destroyed. There's still two hunters in here. I wouldn't be surprised if one starts coming down here right now. This is what I would have done. Oh, motherfucker. More handgun ammo. Never walking in here again. No enemies in here though. Wow. Wow. Jill shit. Oh, I just realized. I don't have a grenade. Yes, I do. I'm gonna shut my fucking mouth right now. Go, uh, save really quick. Yeah, I actually don't know how to kill pale heads. I actually don't know how to stop them. I shot one in the head with a magnum and the fucking thing kept coming at me. Went down and got back up. The hell, you know? Okay. I, what's weird, I've actually enjoyed my, my playthrough of the hospital on this attempt more than uh, my original. I actually liked it more. Real acid? That got both of them. It did. I'm a god. I'm a damn god. Those, those grenades don't hurt you, and they destroy these guys. There you go. I threw it on his head. Did you see that? Just da doink. Is 
dude still walking around in here? Oh, uh, his body's on the ground. He actually like, hasn't gotten back up. Maybe they do eventually die. You just have to put a shit ton of ammo into their face. Well, that was shockingly easier on this difficulty than it was on the original. Uh, now we just go downstairs, right? Now I just save and go downstairs. Hospital's done. Magnum does work? Okay. Well, that's the dude that I locked in there. Yeah, I think hospital's done. Yeah, harder difficulty, easier encounters. I guess. The roof. And then we go back around. Wait, actually, fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, man, I gotta jump down over here. Yeah, I know, it says heavier weapon weaponry uh, does kill him, but I don't know. I... We did open the safe. I never saw where the code was. We did open the safe. New liquors or some shit in here? Got some of them new liquors? Oh my god, why did 10 more zombies show up in there? That's fucked up! I wanna deal with all you guys. Brad? <laughs> Brad? Oh, I'm gonna use that grenade on all these motherfuckers. Oh, there it is! Nine clockwise, three counterclockwise. Bitch! It was here, I just missed the document for some reason. What? I'm gonna lock every one of you in this operating room. Once I find what I need. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Right, what am I missing in that operating room, chat? Um... Is there... Wasn't that where the... No, I think it's in lab reception. It's here. The lock. Yeah, no, I actually don't need to go in there. Carlos just punched the shit out of three dudes. It was felt- it felt great. It's this one. And I need that- Dr. Bard, are you in there? Tape player. Here to rescue you. Open Going the down. door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? I thought that was an herb. Definitely did. Okay. No, no, you do come back with Jill. Yeah. I just, I thought there was like a story critical item and there wasn't. Hi, right, Jill, how's it going? I need a... I need a tape player. Listen to some tunes. Well, that was a very, uh, I mean, hospital actually goes very smooth. All things considered, but now we're gonna get potentially, like, the hard part. I'm assuming that this next part is going to be harder on... ...this difficulty. I'm assuming they're just gonna throw a bunch of... ...fucking enemies at me. And I'm gonna have to take them down. This is the PC version, yeah. documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. Goddamn! The biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. 
Damn. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. It's a good thing that there's this nice gray area with Bard. You don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. We try very hard to, uh, you know, respect the intelligence of the viewer and the player. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? At least he's dead. The greenest of herbs. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel. I don't want to watch, listen to Bard talk the whole time. Is it here? He just says some shit. Because we got a vaccine. We get it. On from some shitty 1998 webcam. Right, Hang tight. T, I got it. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. I don't have to deal with this shit. Hospital's done! I mean, almost. Oh, God! Yeah, even for hardcore, like the, I mean, not hardcore, even for like nightmare difficulty, like this is the game's like non gimmicky hardest difficulty from what I understand. It's not that bad. It's, it's better, but it's mostly the same. There's been some better moments, for sure. I like all the gimmicky stuff with all, like, you know... ...the whippy dudes. Tyrell. What the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated... Hmm, <laughs> don't worry about it, Brian. ...on October 1st. Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. I'll just do this alone. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Alrighty then. Uh, I got a lot of healing items, man. Holy shit. This part is sh shockingly... What's funny is that Carlos describes this as, like, now where the fun begins, and it, this part is not that fun. This part is not as nearly as fun as Carlos thinks it is. I have 250 rounds. We're gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry points is better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Character interactions are fantastic. They're really good. Characters in this are probably better than characters in any Resident Evil game, in my opinion. 
super good. Okay, now the fun shit begins. Is it? Is this guy still alive? Are you kidding me? What do I do with the C4? Oh, I get it later. I think I'd have to drop a pillar or some shit. I like how you can't stop him from coming in. That, them bitches coming in no matter what. And where the hell? Well, that was cheap. Holy shit. Uh, I didn't even realize I was in low health. God damn it. Slap. Half your health. Reloading. Okay. I have so much handgun.
I took a lot of damage already. Dude, oh my god, all of a sudden, am I dead? Oh, you didn't get shocked? Fuck you. Ew. Look at how my parry didn't work. Right, I got it, but it didn't work. I still got hit. I countered him after. That was very weird. Fuck off. What? More healing. Carlos, can you use that explosive to block the door somehow? First aid spray popped up out of nowhere. Oh my god! Well, we did it. It has been done. Carlos! You alright? Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. You never play as Carlos again, so you might as well just use everything, right? Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bosey motherfucker. The, um, that, that critical second fade spray, right? <laughs> that just, like, popped up. Like, oh god, thank god that thing immediately showed up. Two. Carlos is just Chris 2.0? No, no, no. Oh, Carlos god. is Chris with a personality. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tyler in this one gets so much more dialogue compared to the OG where he had a few lines, the then he got exploded in <laughs> <and then> shit blood. <laughs> I forgot about that, that moment where Tyler, like, falls on the ground, hits the, hits the wall, slides down dead, and then a pool of blood comes out from underneath him. <laughs> it looks like he just shits blood. <laughs> I forgot completely about that. I got a couple of lines and then I die in shit blood. Tyler's actually pretty cool in this version of the game. <laughs> yeah, I remember that being very comical in, uh, in RE3. What? <laughs> Why did he shit blood? They have to have the blood thing come out to show you that he's dead. For some reason they came out like underneath him when he was sitting down, so it looks like he just shat blood. Damn, Jill! How much stuff... Have I been stockpiling this hard? Or did Carlos give Jill... Like what? Right? Did Carlos give Jill some of her, some of his stuff? I think he did, right? Uh, you tend to, you tend to hamster pretty hard. I'm sorry. All right, I'm preparing for the worst. Here's what I wanted to try. No. Oh. Thought you could do this. Shit, it doesn't work. You tried it last night. Son of a bitch. This gun sucks, by the way. This thing is not good. Oh. And now we gotta go back through the hospital as Jill, right? So much fun. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? Went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Is there a save limit on Nightmare? There is not. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect trouble. Expect trouble. One bullet for five bullets? Let's go. One bullet for five bullets, let's go. Go get our damn Magnum. Wait, go get this too. <laughs> 12, two bullets for eight bullets? Let's go! I don't have my knife on me, chat. Shut up! Go get the fucking knife, chat. We have definitely spent a lot of time exploring, even on second playthrough. There's been a lot of exploration.
Oh, all this shit in here is bonus. You don't even need to do it. This is all bonus. Wow. that I left. This looks like Nikolai's work. Is it? <laughs> Hospital feels as long as the police station? It's because of the holdout. Hospital's not that long. Hospital's like maximum 30 minutes. If, if you know where to go. Oh, motherfucker. Bill? Are they going to work with me or work against me? Yeah. He's really infatuated with that door. Was there a, a lock in here? No, there was a green herb. That's what it was. Well, that was... Uh... Holy shit. Combat experience just kicked in suddenly, chat. Shit. Again! Damn. It wasn't luck. It wasn't luck. Fucking bullshit! Oh my god, your ass teleported to me. She teleported to me, dude. Then I get cheesed out by that shit. I'm pissed. After having all this combat prowess. God, man. Some regular zombie just lunges across the whole fucking room. Yeah, six explosive runs. It's not bad. have to get to the second floor to get the magnum. Karen strikes again. That was Karen, wasn't it? That betch. Karen, you betch. What's in these hallways that I miss? Right? Like, what the hell? Staff room's all... Oh, there is a thing in here. Dude, you have no fucking face. Aaron. Double 
double lunge. Yeah, they can't fall down like three or four times and keep getting back up to kill me, right? It's just, there has to be, there has to be a stopping point. Is this even worth it? Is this even worth it? Shotgun shells. Twelve shotgun shells. Okay. I'd argue it might have been worth it. Even if I went in there and used like six shotgun shells, that's a good, that's a good net. I'm gonna save. I wonder how valuable it's gonna be in speedruns to just avoid all of this and then, uh... You know, just hop your way downstairs. Just, I'll just skip all this shit, you know? Ten bullets for four shotgun shells, let's go! I think I can squeeze by. I'm trying to think of what the Magnum really does for us. Magnum's not great against the second to last Nemesis fight. Um, where the hell- what am I missing in here, dude? Oh. Gotta go back to the linen room. Sick room's got something else again? Yeah, sick room gets new shit. Like, this guy's alive, too. Nope, I always think he's alive. For some reason, I'm always ready for him to pounce me. That's it. Got a linen room. I thought your ass was alive. This is just some extra stuff. Like, outside of the Magnum, you can just run up to the Magnum and grab it and get the fuck out. All this stuff is essentially superficial. Four Magnum rounds, though. Fuck, dude. I feel like I have more ammo in this playthrough... ...than I did in my regular playthrough. And that's it, right? Yeah, still something in the linen room, though. Oh, we're playing on Nightmare Difficulty. You unlock it after you play through the game on... What the fuck? There is some weird shit, dude. There is some genuine weird shit when it comes to contact animations. Just destroying the A button. This poor A button got blasted. Like it was a fucking Mario Party game. Sitting here destroying this poor fucking A button. As it's wondering why you're pressing me so much to pick up this item. That was it. Like, I, my character ran over to that, that red herb. Mashing A. Pretty much did a, did a turn to be like, okay, let's keep going. And then I had to turn back again because it didn't work, and I did it again. Mashed A, nothing. Came back the third time, ran up to it, and stopped, and it finally picked it up. Fuck. Okay. We got everything. I just realized this is like a, uh... Can't zoom in on him. But this is like a, uh, a, uh, a... a, a a hunk guy. He looks like hunk, actually. I don't know how he didn't make it out of the sewers, but, you know. No, we didn't miss anything, chat. Come on. I'm taking out my shotgun. Yeah. 
That's the case. Yeah, Hunk made it out. Like, Hunk's the only survivor. He's like the, the one... The one dude from the, the Birkin infiltration crew that actually makes it out alive. There's the Magnum. Magnum was in there. And the lockpick is done. I don't think we need to save it, right chat? Pretty sure there'll be a save point like right here. Stars? No, no. Nemesis is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Fucker. Oh, this must be the way underground. Game is trying to catch me. Game wants me dead. I'm trying to take a break here. You know. Chill out for a little bit and uh Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to chat and shit. Where's the fucking Magnum? I have the Magnum. I'm a big stupid idiot. I already have the Magnum. I'm a big fucking stupid idiot. I'm a stupid big idiot. That was- Chad, give me a break. That was like seven hours ago, okay? Give me a break. Give me a huge brain break. Alright, sometimes your brain is so big it exceeds its physical limits. It goes beyond the capability of the human forehead. And so- and sometimes it- you just- It just is impossible to comprehend even the most basic shit. Okay? It might have it might have been the first thing we got in this entire playthrough, but you know what? That's okay. Where's the Magnum? <laughs> Where is it? What the fuck did I pull out of that box? <laughs> What's going on? Chad, you make this game fun, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Playing this game with the chat is fun. I'm enjoying I'm in I am legit having fun. I'm enjoying going through it knowing what's happening instead of being disappointed that it's not as good as RE- RE2 Remake. I'm enjoying it more now. Now let's go through this horrible fucking room. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? Now let's go through this horrible room. A. Um. Acid rounds didn't seem that good. So much damn herb. Fucking Jill should start a clinic. You hated this part? I forgot this was in the, my first playthrough, right? You just wanted to get out, like you didn't even care if you missed loot, right? I actually forgot this shit was in my first playthrough. Okay, now the question is, what should we be taking with us? Uh, I don't know if the knife is going to be any helpful right now. Um, RE1 remake? Chat, you're crazy! I had to tell this to somebody yesterday, RE1 has been raid, re remade, fuck! RE1 already has been remade, you just forgot! What you- what you- you're thinking that Resident Evil 1 remaster? The one that came out on PS4? You think that that's RE1, that's the problem. Is that some people actually think that RE1 is... Is the one you've been playing on PS4! And, like, with Switch! And Xbox! And PC! Nah! You wanna see RE1, what it actually was, you gotta fire up the PlayStation version of that bitch! Actually, 
you have no idea. You have no idea. Words for water. Thank you for the five gift subs, dude. You have no idea. Don't remake the remake. Nah. Nah, don't remake the remake. Uh, thank you, words. Holy shit. Sir Pounce a lot and Holy Roy, Archangel, Rolo, Teach Turtle, Indie Devotee, uh, 12 Azer 97, Dark Tail, or Dark Tail, and Rider. Thanks, guys. You go play Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut. Technically, Resident Evil 1 has already been remastered. It's called RE1 Director's Cut. I have so much. How the fuck is my inventory? How the fuck? How the fuck am I about to make like 40 Magnum rounds? How the fuck? Chat. How the fuck do I have like 45 shotgun rounds? How much ammunition do I have? I feel like I've been shooting a lot of things. How the fuck do I have three hand grenades? Well, I didn't make much. I did not make much. All things considered. I don't even know what the hell to use in here. Hmm... What do I got in this? Mine rounds? Those actually might be very valuable considering what's about to happen. There's some stupid fights in here. Some really dumb fights where it's just like, hey, you're stuck in a corner. Enjoy 40 enemies running at you. Okay. God damn, Chad, I am a one woman army. My knees. I won't even let you click this shit first. I... Yeah. Bam! I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our games end here. <sighs> you think this is over? Excuse me. That didn't change. Damn, look at those. Look at those. Look how much faster they move. Oh my god, I'm fucking terrified. What the fuck? Can you not outrun him? Oh shit. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know if I want to know. All right, so, um, pale heads are much faster. Much faster. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Generous shortcut. What if I just... Eat? You guys are going to be hard to hit now. Tell me your ass is dead. I think you might be dead. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope the Magnum round does it. That's worth it. I say I wasn't gonna need the knife. God damn it. Use a bullet to get a 
herb and some shotgun ammo. Take it. Good trade. Good trade again. It's new. Hi. That's new. Do I have flame rounds? I have explosives. Fuck. Should have brought flame rounds. Dog. Oh no, here comes the ghost dog. Chad, I'm terrified. I don't know where to look or what to do. I have to stop this dog from biting me no matter what. I will stop this dog from biting me. I must. I can't even take this up. I thought I could. I did it. No. Wait. Did I get my magnum with no magnum ammo? Fuck me. Smart. Huge brain tactics. I like it that everyone knows about Ghost Dog. It's not just me. It's not just a story that, that has been told over the years. Everyone knows that this dog literally appears out of nowhere and bites you. But from whence and how, I can't exactly remember. Plagius, the, the wise. Oh, there's gonna be a bitch down here. You better believe it. Oh. You can actually hear him. No zombies this time? There was a bitch shit ton of zombies that came out of there before. Huh? Game, what are you about to throw at me? I have a... a I have a mine round. Mine round didn't do shit. I think the previous challenge was way harder. No shit. I'm about to say, what are you giving me for coming in here? You fucking suck. An herb? I could have just run up the. I could have just run up the ladder, dude. 
like... I mean, I have enough ammo to deal with it, but what the hell? Yeah, it's true. False security is a trap. It is true. It's technically more effective sometimes than the scary shit. this again? More, more shotgun things, right? Um, oh wait, I'm back here. Right. Now I click this one. I didn't even need to do that. This is classic Jill. Yes. Oh, yes. My god, dude. Go through the fucking door. What is wrong with you sometimes, game? Holy shit. I'm gonna sit here and just hug the wall. Instead of going through the door, why don't I remember having these issues in RE2? Why don't... That guy's actually dead. Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't seem right. Where's my ghost dog? Right, I've been looking for my ghost dog, and I can't find him. All right, here goes. Motherfucker. Wow, two shotguns to the face kill a hunter? Jesus. Combat experience kicking in. No, those guys dead. They, they, they have they have a health limit. Right? They have a certain finite amount of health, it looks like. Yeah, the ghost dog is gone! Uh, they took out Ghost Dog. Kind of surprised. That is absolutely worth it. Oh, you can't walk in here. Cool. Shit. He got away. What was he doing in here? Yes, good. I like how this is kind of hidden right here. Can I 
Second Rider. We are already 80% done? Nah, dude, we are like, we're at the end of the game. strike if and this is one big ass if we can deliver the vaccine to them i mean a lot of the reason why this has been taking a bit longer or watching all the cutscenes still I'm letting them rock because the game's still relatively new then let's not waste one more second this way yeah this difficulty seems awkwardly less difficult for some reason but i you know what that is that's familiarity right once you know what what to do the familiarity is much more valuable. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. That is very RE, yeah. But even like the, the even even this game mode has been throwing a lot of unique shit my way, right? Like a lot. Item behind desk? Are you drunk? Stop. Stop and do what? I got your back. All right. Let's get this done. Black squirrel? Are you, uh... Are you insinuating that the item behind the desk was not the extended shotgun barrel that we currently have? Did you just join the stream? Did you just join the stream? I'm not a huge fan of Nest 2.0 here. I don't, uh... I don't think this is that... great. I wish it was more like the original RE. This is a very small version of, you know, Nest. Frostbite Slash, thank you for the five. Was Nemesis everything he was made out to be by Capcom? Like, worse than Mr. X and always hunting you? Ah, uh, we've been talking about that all night long. Long answer, long story short, no. He's, uh, extremely underwhel underwhelming and underused in this game. It's real, it's, and it's the biggest, the part that sucks the most is how underused Nemesis is. It's fine, it's, it's pretty. Best part of the game is running around the city where Mr. X is chasing you. It's the most fun. Yeah, they definitely overhyped him, right? He's not, he's nowhere close to the in intimidation of Mr. X. Mr. X is still the, the goat. He's like an amusement park ride. That's exactly what he is. Okay, I'm getting tired. We should, uh, we should try to finish this up. I don't want to come back to this tomorrow, you know? And for, if, if, now, now that I know where to go and what to do, and I have enough fucking magnum ammo to deal with it. Let, chat, what the hell am I doing? Hang on a second. Golden Commando.
I don't even know what acid rounds are good for. I actually don't. Flame rounds seem pretty good. Hmm. Don't worry about that later. Am I enjoying the game that more second time around? I am. Yeah, I've actually liked this difficulty more. Uh, but it hasn't changed my opinion on the game being a 7 out of 10. I still feel the game's a 7 out of 10. Acid's good against hunters? Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Karen? Thank you. All right, game's already uh, pissed. Game's mad. Dude, one bullet for four shotgun shells? Good trade? You got nothing? My inventory space is going to uh, ammo. That's not good. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? So it takes two acid rounds, dude. Override if I if I removed. if I close range shotgun a hunter in the face, and then I pump another one in the exposed face, they're dead. They die. How long is this game approximately? First playthrough, about six to seven hours. Alright, I gotta go drop all this shit off, unfortunately. No space. So we don't run into space issues. I'm doing that. And I'm saving. Uh, stream quality chat. Visuals, audio. Give me a, a, a yay or nay. Uh, yes, so give me a one more or no more. One more if it's been good tonight. No more if it's been a little rough. not this way. This is just some weird balcony that never gets used for anything. You can- actually, I guess you use it just to look down at all this shit. Yeah, still some frame- random frame drops every once in a while that I gotta figure out. Honestly, it looks like you're running at native. That's the whole point, man. Thank you. Just imagine Final Fantasy VII Remake when we don't have to render the stream at 60 FPS. Imagine FF7 Remake when we can actually stream at 30 FPS. Oh, I haven't actually confirmed if, uh... If 7 Remake is... 60 in... Uh-oh. guy dipped. You see that fucker dip? Um, if the menus in FF7 Remake are 60. Oh my god, damn. What the fuck? Oh, I killed him. I didn't even need to get a headshot? Oh, this zombie isn't even here. Wow. Okay. 
Okay then. Does lower frames really help with bitrate? Dude, twice as good. I- I'm not shitting you. When it comes to stream quality, twice as good. Visually. Like, in terms of, like, crispness and... everything like that. If you have to render half the amount of frames per second, your encoding gets to do so much more. Perrin, I swear to fuck. Yeah. Like, no shit. Having to render at, like, 1080-60 is actually fairly taxing. But if you- if you do, like, 720-30, that stream would look amazing. It's just that it's running at 30. It's very weird to me. Right? This one little side room for no- aha! Uh -huh. Apparently no reason. Yeah, so the FF7 stream, if we stream it at eight, 8... 8 megabits... ...and... 8 megabits, 1080p, 30 FPS... ...with a high encode... ...dude. Go for frames, but I mean, there's no reason. There, there's... There's no reason to go for frames. Get the fuck down. There's no reason. There's nothing that's going to be rendering over 60. That's the cool part, is that I can make FF7 Remake look fucking dope. And a lot of people are just going to be streaming that shit at 60, so I'm like... Hmm. I like the music here, too. Yeah, I, I also... Very mysterious. I might have to mix this into, uh, handgun ammo. I don't want to do. <clears throat> Yo, Edkiss, thank you very much, man, and Gromrick, appreciate it. Sometimes you've seen 60 FPS streams look smoother in 30 FPS games. Sometimes. Yeah, I, I do agree. Comes down to, uh... Comes down to a few things. But I'm gonna be testing. Don't worry. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be messing around. This must be what powers it. What upgrade is this? Oh, it's just a fade spray. Use this. Okay. Bang! <clears throat> Does that one get saved on the new playthroughs? No, I just am a fucking uh, conservation whore for some reason. How would your hand signature work? Oh, that's right. We're about to be into some shit here. We're about to be in some shit here. Almost wish I had a grenade. Maybe I'll be get a save point before then? Maybe there's a save point up here? I don't think there is. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. that come on wasted two magnum rounds on that shit dude but i just realized there's a there's a stop point right here look at this and 
I mean, it's only go so far. There we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, the tethering of some enemies is kind of weird. They only pursue so much. Explosive A. The explosive A gives me uh, just explosive rounds. Normal ass explosive rounds. What does this one have? Explosive B. So what I'm trying to say is uh, Pico de Gallo. Thank you for the prime. It's a great name. Yeah, it feels like there was more zombies in that room before, right? Heals that way. Here we go. Yeah, direct squaw shotgun to the face. <laughs> Fucking Jill, dude. Jesus Christ. Jill. Valentine, everybody. Wasn't even a problem. I almost killed like one with two with one single shot. Damn, dude, this place is super fucking short. Oh my god. Can you realize how short it is? It don't last very long. Uh, Pico de Gallo, that kind of happens with ISPs, dude. Yeah, I... It, and the, the funny thing is, even if you have 100 to 500, uh, like, download, like, megs... If you have 100 to 500 megabyte download, you're never gonna utilize that. There's very few things on the internet that'll even allow you to download at that speed. You can't- you can't watch YouTube videos at that speed. You can't even use Steam at that speed. Um, maybe some torrents you could, if you're getting really fucking lucky. But, all things considered, if you pay for like 500 download, you're honestly not- You can't really utilize much. Either I've got this wrong or I'm missing stuff. Oh, I forgot. I have to mix them. Manually. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Wow, the hardest puzzle ever. And, uh, and ISPs throttle the shit out of you, too. That's why I still drop frames. Like, I've dropped 800 frames. That's... Almost, uh, 10 to 11 seconds in this stream have been completely dropped. Probably at one time. What, did I get the, uh, the vaccine? Did I not take it? Didn't take it. Okay. 
Is the important thing for fighting games like stability and buffer bloat? Uh, no, no, no. The, the important thing for fighting games is your packet loss. Fighting games to run online, chat? You wanna... Uh, oh, throw out a number for me. How much do you think it takes to run a fighting game online between two players? How much data? How much, like, intermittent data per second? How much do you think that takes? Between, like, megabytes and kilobytes, right? How many megs do you think it takes? How many K do you think it takes? About 300, that's a good guess. About a meg, that's a good guess. 10 megabits? Ugh. Dark Builder's got it right. About less than 50k. 50 kilobytes. Very little amount of data going between players. If you had a an upload speed of 500k, and that was dedicated to whatever you're playing your fighting game on, you'd be completely fine. As long as you didn't have packet loss. You could have like 25 upload and you have a ton of packet loss, you're screwed. Packet loss is just a really intermittent, unresponsive... I'm sorry, really intermittent connection. But fighting games take no next to nothing to run online with you connecting to another player. Next to nothing. Hell are we now? I did that. Oh, it's prepping us for the final boss. Wonder how this is going to be uh on this run, chat. Jesus, dude, at the end of this playthrough, look at my fucking inventory! Oh my god! Does this game give you too much ammo? Or what? Was this like this on our hardcore playthrough for Claire or Leon? Because what the fuck, man? I'm stacked! Oh my god. I don't know. Bring your launcher? I mean, I would if I got a fucking... I have to keep the, uh, the handgun. I don't need the bullets, though. I'm about to- I'm about to use my magnum rounds to shoot the, uh, the little- the little targets. Right? Okay, hold on a second. Do I even need this right now? I might not. BITCH! Sorry, they won't let me put it away. Make more acid? I skipped most of the monsters and save stated everything. I don't think I did skip a lot of them. I definitely save stated a lot of this shit because the game allowed me to. This game let me do that. You know? We killed a lot of motherfuckers. Did I save scum? Oh fuck yes. Every single time I had an opportunity I saved. Every single time I had an opportunity I saved. Game didn't stop me. Game has- game just let me do that. Launcher sucks on this boss in your opinion? Well I know it does. At a certain point. Is it possible to pay for more upload speed or something? Yes. Uh, if you contact your ISP. See if they have any upload options. But you're not looking for download, you're looking for upload. Sometimes they don't. Upload is more valuable. Ooh, what do we have? 
love fear. Nikolai, don't! The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. I don't think the wisdom uh, I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's paid. make a deal. I'm in the you business to get there, paid. Careful the nemesis. And I'll record it all and sell the combat dark. My upload's only 25, just for perspective. That's the most I can get, and I have to pay for two connections. Agreed? Good! Good luck, Pico. Not give a shit. I'm doing fine. Jill, is that you? Carlos? Nice. Well, that was very fast. You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Clenched fist. What I yeah, smack you out of your dumbass roar. Watch it, you've got company. He's hiding behind take five. Number five. Oh. Uh, okay, you really he really he really goes fast there. Dude, fuck. That fucked me up. That fucked me up. Can I shoot this gun? Okay. Oh my god, fuck the camera. Fuck this camera. This is a hard. It's actually hard. This is tough, right? He's way faster. Like I need to, I need to be looking out for him. This this is now ten times harder because I have to be. I have to respond way faster, and the camera is not gonna let me. Holy shit! Yeah, I have to- I- I can't wait for Carlos. I have to preemptively be getting ready for that shit. What the fuck, dude? Pushes me into the corner from the roar and I just can't get out of it? That's not cool. Aiming and shooting. There's nothing. Sometimes. Aiming and shooting sometimes just is unresponsive. I do not get it. But she has to reload every round. Oh. Okay. Joe, 
Jill, is that you? Yes, my name is Jill. Hello. Video game. I've never seen that attack before. Never seen it. Let's go back dash. That was cheap. Mmm, game over. Fuck, dude. That zombie ran at me hella fast. So he stomps. Second to last, he stomps. He was almost dead, too. I'm gonna bring more healing. Can't bring more healing. Actually, can't. They didn't even hide that time. Just fucked me up. Okay. I got it. Mines to shoot the track he runs on? Yeah. It's a good idea. Good call. Flame rounds, mine rounds, explosives. Flame rounds. Good idea. Acid doesn't seem that great, right? Acid <gasps> just seems bad. Am I disliking it more about the same? I think it's about the same. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that the uh, the Nightmare playthrough, the Nightmare difficulty, has some different shit and is actually more difficult. It's pretty good.
What the fuck? You were very far away. Like the record for to be known. Some of this game it just isn't very well thought through sometimes. Some of this game just isn't very well thought through sometimes. Some of it can be a little weird. Karen, you bitch. Look, look how slow the reload animation is here. But for like ins in, in inserting something or pulling something back. What was all that animating you were doing before, Jill? Or I had, I had to put all these in here. Okay. Jill, is that you? Right. It's like, what the fuck? He has to, like, manually rotate the barrel. This is, uh, the game was not designed for this. I couldn't see that guy. The camera was too close. Dodges. Oh my god, pro dodges. Like a buddy. Got some more incoming. Number two. God damn. Fucking commando right now.
Um, the, uh, utilizing this is kind of tough. When do I have the opportunity to switch ammo, right? When do I have the chance to switch ammo? You know, I just don't. I think I'm gonna pull more health instead of the mine. You shoot the tower preemptively, it doesn't last that long, right? I think I'm actually gonna do that too. I think I'm gonna stun ra stun lock him with explosive rounds until Carlos starts calling out. Just just blow him up. Fuck it. on reload, nothing's happening. You're not blown up yet? Dude. What? What? How many more? You just want to take a nibble out of me? Mm. 
this makes this camera issue so much worse, right? The harder difficulty makes the camera issue that much worse. Th I thought this fight was bad before. I was absolutely wrong. This fight is... Like, designed to be frustrating. It's a- it's a feature. Resident Evil 3 f Remake featuring a last boss on Nightmare difficulty that is designed to be frustrating. Here's a multiplayer mode to make up for it. Enjoy. I like the explosive rounds against the other form, I don't know. Dude! Give me a second to breathe? No, you don't. I can't. You're not. Not allowed to breathe. Okay, fire rounds do, do do absolutely do more damage. If you just full invincibility to start, by the way. That's a new attack. Never seen it. Never seen it before. Oh my god, dude. Waiting for him to fall and he doesn't fall. I don't even have a chance to look right at the zombie and then look back at him. Nice, the auto-aim, uh, fucking completely fucked me over. Oh my god, the camera's... Thank god. This is, I have to make a choice. Here comes a I have to make a choice between either looking at the monster and hoping I can get an opportunity to do damage or zombies just fucking me. It's over, but I mean, holy shit, dude. Cutscene literally saved me.
Cutscene saved my ass. Game wasn't even- game was still throwing zombies at me. 